reading unsay gipangbasa na to what are you listening to unsay mga music no nga atong gipangpaminaw no what are we um talking about no um importante jud nga we have to be selective with the things that we feed our minds no only think about the good the noble the uh, what is beneficial no think about these things no feed your mind with beautiful things about the lord no? so that um our behaviors and our attitudes in life will be based on what we feed our minds with no so uh let's go to the last part of uh our topic it is um how can we start living or how can we live in the spirit or how can we consistently be living in the spirit no mura siyag sayon basic paminawon pero if you do not practice this application at ang mga igsoon if we do not practice this mo fail gyud ta no personal experience ni nako as well as experiences tingalipod ni sa ubang mga vintage believers no because dili gyud ta mahimong maayong uh, ma- mahimong lig on in our faith if we do not hang on to the lord no remain in me and i in you dili gyud ta without him we cannot do anything so tips application first confess your sin to god First John one nine, daily good ni. This is a basic uh, verse for for every believer, but it is a very important verse for me. It is one of the jewel verses. No, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So every time we do or we think about something which is contrary to the Spirit, kumpisal dayon. no ginoo unsa man ning akong gihunaw na di ni mao di ni imo forgive me and please take this away from my mind i know that it is not yours anak no so that's the first second surrender to his lordship romans 12:1 therefore i urge you brothers in view of god's mercy to offer your bodies as living sacrifices holy and pleasing to god this is your spiritual act of worship so big or small we have to surrender to god's lordship we have to step down from our throne mga igsoon and let him take over sa atong mga negosyo mura tag correct pero covid on tag tamantaman wa wag tang negosyo no sa atong mga professions mura tag haud but no We have to surrender to the lordship of the Lord. No? We have to step down from our throne. Uh, if you remember when you were just converted, gato bitang heart drawing. I cannot forget that when I was just a new believer, and then my Bible teacher uh, drew a heart, a person, baye ana. Yeah, there was the heart in. The, there was the heart, and then there was a chair inside the heart. And then before receiving Christ, ako tunggaling ko sa chair. But after receiving Christ, dito na ko sa gawas sa chair, no? At eh, gawas sa heart niya. Si si Christ na mo naglingkod sa chair sa akong heart. So that's what we are going to do, mga igsoon. Surrender to His Lordship. Step down from your throne. Let Him take over. Number three. Desire to be filled by the Spirit and ask it from God in full faith. Desire to be filled by the Spirit and ask it from God in full faith. Matthew 5.6 Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Have you ever asked it from the Lord in full faith to be filled by the Holy Spirit? Kung wala pa mga isuon, pangayua. Pangayua sa ginoo. Lord, fill me with your spirit. Make me uh, feel that I am filled and consumed 
by the Holy Spirit, by your Holy Spirit. Aron makontrol yun every act, every word, every thought, everything, every atom and cell in my body is under your Lordship. Ingan na, no? So, pangayuun na na nato sa ginoo. No, we have always been um, forgetting, no? We, we, we have always been forgetting na uh, muingun rata ni Lord. No? So, number four, four nga, what to do? No? Four, practice holiness. No? Practice holiness. First, first Peter chapter 1 verse 16, it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. Let us always remember the purpose of our life. We are not created to be happy or healthy, but we are created to be holy. No? So, if you are jogging so that you will be healthy, the more nga i-jog di mo imo spirit. How? By exercising, memorizing the the word of God, no? And then talking to Him. At all costs, we must have a right relationship with God. At all costs, mga egzoon. No? So, kinahanglan, buhato na to ang tanan, aron ma-enrich atong relationship ni hey, God. Now, warning. <clears throat> the Word of God will stir an intense resentment because it is designed to reveal any unholiness still in us. No? Na daghang masuko kay ngano giingnan ko ni Jad to unsay pagtuon niya siya ray born again ako di niya na no kay mustir man og <coughs> resentment kay kanang mo feel man nga hala na pa di ay di wa ta ka realize nga napay daghang unholiness sa atong kaugalingon no so ang atong encourage response when the holy spirit will reveal something that is not yet uh, right in us is dili ta ang ay masuko. No? Humility and openness to what else in our life needs correction so that we can progress to holiness. Now, um, personal experience na ko is, Murad, you, if, if, during the time that I was still new in the faith, niya, badlungon ko sa akong disciple, mo, ingon you ko, no, yum, no, siya. But later on, I realized nga, sakto yun ang akong disciple. No? So, there are still so many areas in our lives, even now, nga nagkinahanglan o kanang progress to holiness. So, mga igsoon, let us never tolerate any practice that is not in keeping with a holy God. Unsa man na, basig na apatay gipractice atong mga kinabuhi nga dili in keeping or dili in line with the holiness of God. No, unsa man na naa pa ba? Susihon na to atong mga kaugalingon atong household na abay ga exist diha nga uh, contrary to what God would what would please God. Na bay sala nga ga exist sa atong mga kinabuhi or sa atong household kung mabadlungan ta aning dapita di ta nga masuko mga igsuon. No? Magpasalamat ta. No? Sakit pero it just requires holiness, uh, humility in our part. No? Humility lang ta kay di ta mo progress in holiness if masuko ta sige. No? So um, we have to remember that holiness means absolute purity in our walk before God. Even in the words that we speak the thoughts that we think remember that a man's mind is satan's playground are we allowing satan to play loosely in our thoughts no? so let us place every detail of our life under the scrutiny of god himself mga igsoon so please do not think nga akana gyud siya advance na gyud na siya no i have my own struggles mga igsoon i have to be honest i have my own struggles but i cry out to the lord no kay siya ra may makatabang nato no way lain walay maayong laki or maayong baji ani no no uh, even with the books you read even with the bible even with kuan oh, if we can, do not call upon the lord wala gyud no we we can never succeed if we do not surrender to 
His Lordship. Mao na nga, in parting, I would like to encourage everyone, uh, let us always confess to God any sin, every sin, any fault that we have done, we have thought about, that we are inclined to to do or to think anything in us. Kay ba manta? We know that sayup ni, no? So, dili, let's not have our prides play nga, kanang uh, mo play ang pride nga, ah, nga no, di ay, nga na, di ko ko makikita niya or something, nga na, no? But anything sa atong mga kaugalim, kay ba man, taas questions. Gitagaan na be ang Holy Spirit mo convict na to. So, i-confess yun na to sa ginoo. And then, surrender ta niya sa iyang Lordship. And then, pangayuon na to nga punon ta sa Holy Spirit all the time. And then, mo practice gitag holiness. Atong pangayuon sa ginoo nga Lord, dabangi ko. I want to progress in my holiness. I want absolute purity in my walk with you. Help me. No, help me. Ako mo look back ko sa akong life, even sa new believer ko. Moingon ko nga jara, no, daghan kay kog mga kasalanan pa, no, but we are progressing in holiness because of the Lord, no? So, maura siguro na ang uh, ma-share ma-share ma na ko as regards to the message of the Lord uh, this morning mga igsuon. So, let's come before the Lord in prayer. Father God, thank you so much for the things that you have revealed to us. Thank you for encouraging us to confess our sins to you, no matter how uh, horrifying they are. Thank you very much for assuring us that whenever we ask of you to fill us with your Holy Spirit, you will do so. Thank you so much, Lord, that as we surrender to your Lordship, you control our lives oh god and thank you so much that as we step forward in faith lord god you are leveling up us up in our uh, purity in our holiness in our walk with you lord god lord we pray that you will continue to uh, lift us up promote us lord god in our um, relationship with you lord god convict us rebuke us teach us with your word, Lord God, draw us to your word all the time, Lord, so that we can be uh, warned, we can be taught, we can be rebuked, Lord God, by you, by you through your word, O God. And bless our relationship with you always, Lord. Make us shine like lights, Lord, in the community where darkness is so dark, where we're, there is hardly any light for other people, Lord God. Make us light, Lord God. Make us salt to those people whose lives are tasteless already, Ginoo. Tabangi kami. And Lord, uh, thank you once again, Ginoo. Thank you for the Mission Church of Tabbilaran. May your blessings be upon us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Thank you very much, uh, everyone, and God bless us all.